Good evening, beautiful woman. Welcome to Isaiah's Inspiring Evenings, a podcast full of goddess stories, witches' secrets, colors of women, and fairy seasons to integrate serenity, abundance, joy, and magic into your life. This is episode 69, The Tech Goddess is a Lucky Bitch. I'm Isaiah Bell, creatrix, magical, pragmatic, inspiration mentor, tech goddess teacher, and traveling priestess. And this podcast aims to accompany you for peaceful and inspiring evenings. Isaiah's Inspiring Evenings is published very irregularly, and you will find more information and the references I am talking about on my website, isaiahbell.com. Subscribe to the podcast on the platform of your choice to be informed of the publication of each new episode. If you like this podcast, you can support it by leaving stars, blue thumbs, and reviews on whatever platform you listen to me. The tech goddess is a lucky bitch. I'm celebrating the most incredible, amazing upgrade. It's a long story, so saddle up. So I recently decided to own that I'm a tech goddess and that I love to work with tech to help my fellow female spiritual entrepreneurs to expand their wings and rock the online world. And I bought myself a new computer that ended up being the exact best thing for me right now. Heavenly upgrade. And the computer ended up being free. Gift from my hubby. Yeehaw. You can read my blog post about that reference below or listen to the previous podcast episode. But when I wrote the blog post, the computer hadn't arrived yet. Here I am, on the other side of the upgrade. I'm typing on this amazing tiny beast of a computer, loving every second and basking in gratitude. Plus, I gifted myself an extra huge monitor so I can finally see what I'm doing. Yeah, getting old. The ease, the joy, and the feeling of fulfillment are incredible. And they're not getting old. Every morning when I see it on my desk, a spark of joy rushes to my heart. Oh my goddess, how lucky and grateful I feel. And as you may know, gratitude and joy are two of the best manifesting tools there are. I know that too, in my head. But it really hadn't downed into my heart and body and soul. Until... Just listen on. Last Monday, I got an email from a logistics company telling me my delivery of a Longchamp bag was scheduled for Wednesday, April 27th, between 2 and 6 p.m. Since I had not ordered anything from Longchamp, which, in case you don't know, is one very expensive French handbag company, luxury items ranging from 700 euros and up, I ignored the email, thinking, scam alert, and proceeded to live my life. Last Tuesday, I got a voice message on my mobile phone from a so-called Diane from the same logistics company I'd never heard of, confirming the delivery of the same order and specifying that I could change the delivery time if I wished, simply by phoning her back. Ha, I thought to myself. These scammers have some nerve asking me to call them back on what is surely going to be a premium rate phone number that will empty my bank account. Nope, not me. I'm not that naive. So I deleted the message and went on with my life. Last Wednesday, April 27th, 2.30pm, I got a delivery. When I opened the box, you guessed it, there was a black leather computer bag in a white dust bag labelled Longchamp. I smelled it and checked it from all angles and it did seem luxurious and legit. I freaked out. I checked the Longchamp website and the value of a similar bag was 800 euros. I phoned my mom and my aunt and anyone I could think of asking if they had gifted me the bag as a surprise for my birthday. Nope. I even thought, at one point, that Denise DT or Joanna H had sent it. Nope. I checked my bank accounts several times, 
to see if some money had fled from them mysteriously. Although I know, usually scammers take your money and do not send you a very expensive bag. All my money was there, and I knew for a fact I had not bought it for myself. I could not, for the life of me, make sense of that delivery. On the box, there wasn't any mention of a sender. I went to bed that night really anxious, as if something bad was happening, or could happen any time. Anxiety programming is it. The bag was in the box. I hadn't dared taking it out. It felt dangerous and wildly undeserved. The next morning, I went to the box again and found a small mention of a Diane and a phone number on the label of the box. So, I called after having checked on the internet that the phone number was a legit French number and not some scam number. I gave my name and said I'd received a parcel that I had no idea by whom it was sent and could they tell me please. The nice lady, yes, Diane, on the phone, checked and then said, Oh yeah, you bought a computer from the X brand lately, haven't you? Yes, says I. Well, that's a gift from them. Wait, what? So I got a free computer and a free 800 bag for it that I had no idea I was getting? The tech goddess is a lucky bitch. Thank you, universe. Now, why am I telling you this story? I just wanted to testify that sometimes when the stars align and I, or you, level up with the universe and finally I'm okay to receive and allow and give permission to thrive in an easy, joyful and flowy fashion, magic happens. Truly. And I get reminded that I'm the only one blocking the amazing abundance of the universe. As are you. Let's stop doing that and open up to the best of times, shall we? I would be so happy to hear from you about all that. Thank you in advance for your comment. That's it for this episode. The next one is still in creation. Thanks for listening. And don't forget, if you want to support this podcast, share, subscribe, and leave stars, blue thumbs, and a review on whichever platform you listen to. If you want to be accompanied in the change processes that life offers you, if you want to participate in the awakening of feminine energy in the world, live your life as a goddess, know the secrets of witches, and apply the rituals of fairies in your daily life, contact me on my website, isaiabel.com. You can also subscribe to my newsletter to be informed of all the news in the real and virtual world of Isaiabel. You will, of course, find this podcast on all platforms. Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, Spotify, etc., but also on YouTube and on my website, isaiabell.com, on the podcast page, 